Jeff Keen here in the Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. I've been testing out Tesla's awesome FSD 14.2.2. And it's been working great in this hardware for a vehicle. But starting a few days ago, I noticed that the windshield wipers were running all the time whenever there was like sun glare on the windshield. And then I got this camera visibility notification twice. I tried clearing it once and it came back within a day or so. It's saying interior windshield residue detected schedule service for cleaning. I didn't want the hassle of bringing my Tesla into the service center just to clean the windshield in front of the camera. And they charge like $60 to do it every single time. Now this Highland is over a year old now and I've never had it cleaned, but I haven't used FSD a lot in that time Since period. 14 came out with end-to-end -end neural nets. It's getting better and better and it makes you want to use it. And I guess cleaning the camera is going to be like a yearly maintenance item, just like cleaning the windshield and washing the car. But it was pretty easy to do. It took me about a half an hour the first time I tried. Okay, here are the tools that you're going to need. So first of all, you need a Torx screwdriver with a number 10 bit. I'll put a link to the set I'm using below. It's handy. Then I use this pick tool to get the cover underneath the mirror started. And then I used a standard trim removal tool. I'll put links to these below and also. I used Windex glass cleaner, some bounty paper towels. Now the first step is to remove the small trim piece underneath the mirror. Now I had to get it started with this little pick tool and then I put a small trim tool in there and it was able to pop right out. Work your way around both sides. There's a tab on each side and two on the front. Next, remove the mirror by giving it a quarter turn to the left. It should pop right out. Next, remove the outer cover. Work your trim tool around. There's two tabs at the front corners, and then there's two tabs at the back by the headliner. Should pop off fairly easily. You can leave the mirror dangling by the connecting wires, just be careful with it. With the clips on both sides released, work it away from the headliner carefully, and you can just let it hang. Next, remove the two T10 screws toward the front of the camera housing. You don't need to remove the ones in the back. Now you should be able to lower the camera assembly board by swinging it down in a way. It's held on by two tabs at the top. And then you should be able to pull it loose and let it hang by the wires carefully. Next, I sprayed some Windex onto the Bounty Selected Sheet Paper Towel and I used that to clean the glass in front of the camera. Now, use a decent quality paper towel because some of them will shed uh, paper. You don't want it to leave any residue of any type behind. And before I started cleaning, I could definitely see the residue on the glass. Next, move the camera board back up toward the windshield. There's two clips in the back that you want to make sure are in place. And then the screw holes should line up. Next, replace the two T10 screws. Now don't over tighten them. There was some blue Loctite on the screws so they should stay in place. Next, reinstall the main cover. Now first you have to get the back end up into the headliner and then you should be able to look through and see the clip on the other side so you can line it up. That's how I got it to go back on. Next, reinstall the mirror by giving it a quarter turn to the right. Next, install the mirror trim piece. There's two tabs on the front and two clips on the side. Put the front in first and then the side should pop right back in. And then you can clear the history here under camera visibility and service. Next, I took it for a ride with FSD. Now I wanted to Get it in a position where there'd be sun glare in the windshield and see if I got the error messages anymore. So I had it drive directly into the morning sun and I didn't get any issues. The car was driving fine. And also I noticed the windshield wipers weren't running like crazy anymore. So there you go, how to clean the hardware for 
camera in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. This is probably gonna work for the Model Y Juniper as well. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and tech products.